The first time we saw Praskovia Ivanova, she was sitting outside her home, scared, confused, and overwhelmed. Ukrainian troops had just bombed the Russians out of her village called Malarohan, and more than anything else, she needed comfort. Since then, Ukrainian troops have pushed the Russians back even further, allowing life to return to Malarohan. Power lines are being repaired. Shops are still closed, but there's regular food distribution. We decided to check in on Briskovia. Hello. <laughs> How are you? It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you again. <laughs> the bombings blew out her windows. They're now covered in plastic. Her roof leaks too. How was it when the Russians were here? What was it like for you when the Russians were in this town? But things are now improving. After freshening up in some new clothing, Praskovia wanted to show us her borscht. Onion, dill, parsley, cabbage, all go into boiling potatoes. She checks the seasoning and waits until it's ready. Praskovia has lived a hard life, surviving World War II and famine. Her husband died nine years ago. Her son and daughter, who live in Russian-controlled areas, haven't called in months. Finally, the borscht is ready. This is delicious. It's very good. Thank you. And this is her homemade vodka, which goes with the borscht. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you so much. Praskovia was happy for some company. Wonderful to spend some time with you. Thank you. She seemed sorry to see us go. But now, at least, with the fighting here over, she's able to smile. I think what struck me most about her was her resilience. She really has had an incredibly difficult life. During the periods of famine, she told me that she and her brother and sister would go out in the fields looking for potatoes that the farmers had neglected to harvest. Now, once again, war has returned to her area. But she still gets up every day, and now she's able to cook for herself and take care of herself. Tom. Richard, you said she's smiling, and we are all smiling back here as well. What Richard, an incredible story. I think yeah. you have a friend for life, yeah. Richard. It's so special that you went back and shared that time with her. It seems like it meant as much to you as it did to her. So thank you. Thank you, Richard. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.